And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And he floats one there incomplete. I don't see more than trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Murray going to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. It's a game of five. Brings up third and five. There's Murray. Finding Ertz again. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. They're going for it. It's Murray. Eluding the pressure. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. And they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Oh, going for Sanders downfield. Oh, wide open, complete. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Let's go. So there is the big arm of Josh Allen on display. He can throw it as deep as anybody, and that was an absolute laser. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. Yeah, difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Play action. Now it's Murray. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Cardinals. It's so easy to focus on the speed and elusiveness of Kyler Murray. But as he shows right there, don't sleep on the arm strength. It appears they're going to throw forward with Murray flushed out right. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Come to the line to start their next drive. 
And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. From the 29, Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. That catch good for five. It's third down. To the air, Allen. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big play there on the catch and run. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder coming up in a couple of minutes' time. We'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. They'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 25-yard line. To throw, it's Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. They run here with Singletary, and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Flush to his right, toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now a third and goal situation as this Arizona defense tries to stand tall once more. They'll try and run. Here's Singletary, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Devin Singletary, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Bills will extend their lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes it 21-8. to After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Murray now on first down. And the reception made by Green. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Defensively, they just lost him. He was waving his arms saying, I'm wide open. They found it. Yeah, and it's so interesting about when a receiver starts to wave his arms because some guys run up the line of scrimmage, they declare themselves open. You know those guys throw the one arm up, right. hit me right now. In this case, he was so wide open that he was frantically trying to get his attention to make sure he got the football. And then I'm sure his only thought when the ball was in the air, don't drop it. Had too much time to think. On first and ten, here's Murray. Buying time to his left. This is caught. It's Kirk. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now Murray. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. 
Zach Ertz there to make the grab. And the Cards get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. They'll try and throw for it. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team because, hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop him from scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And we'll see how aggressive they want to be in these final stages before the half. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. From the gun, it's Allen. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. And he's going to get this deep onto Arizona's side of the field. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. A final shot before half for Allen. And he's got his tight end, Knox, for a Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox as time expires in the first half. And the Bills would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Both teams finishing up their halftime adjustments. We're about ready to get back to football at State Farm Stadium. And for the call, let's head back out to Glendale and hand it over to Brandon God. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon God, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Throwing again on second and 10. Murray, and the catch made by Hopkins. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. On play action, it's Murray. Eluding the pressure right. And Murray with a smart move there at the end of the play. Picks up the first down and then slides to the ground. When they watch film of this game and hand out the great sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Throwing on first down is Murray. Looking for Ertz, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. Oh boy, you ain't got no and he is going to score. It's a pick six yeah, and a Bills baby. touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will make this a 19-point game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And Moore, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. 
Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21 from the gun, Murray. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Green brings it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. Looking deep for his tight end, Ertz. And incomplete on the deep ball. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak. And while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close. But the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. To throw once more on second and 10. Murray. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Now Murray off play action. Going deep for Hopkins. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Murray sets to throw on fourth. And able to find Kirk complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Murray. And this one caught by Max Williams. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's 30 yards now in the last two plays. Back-to-back 15-yarders, -back and they're rolling. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And that's complete. It's green here. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Play fake, Murray. They'll roll him out right. And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. DeAndre Hopkins, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Cliff Kingsbury going to decide here to leave the offense out and go for two. They'll look to throw. And the Cardinals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. On play action, Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, 
they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. On first down, here's Breda. Powers pass him at midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. Throwing on second and eight, Allen. The Sanders has got it complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 36. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Flushed out right. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. So offside's the call, and they understandably decline it. And this is why we're seeing more and more teams hiring that one coach to the staff that's in charge of all these things. This one's minor. It's pretty easy to figure out. But all the game management stuff. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. So Allen breaks the huddle, and his guys will go for two here. Allen will try to throw for it. He'll buy some time right. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Jerry Hughes in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. He's going to let it fly. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 
A big gain there for the Bills. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Throwing again on second down. Allen. Flush to his right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Allen to throw once more. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown. Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills will add on to their lead. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. So Allen breaks the huddle, and his guys will go for two here. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And no run back here for Moore. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Being chased out left. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Murray going to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Shotgun now for Murray. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. So Allen's going to look to throw. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Robert Alford. And the Cards are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, uh, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.